Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to another One Piece uh, theory, like a reaction uh, kind of review, kind of all melted into one. Um, so personally, uh, I just want to get right into it. I originally intended this video to come out yesterday, but I realized that uh, I was kind of rambling too much, so I wanted to make a precise uh, video about specifically one thing in this chapter if I thought was the most interesting. And, um, you know, I probably do want to make another video about the the SSG reveal and how Vegapunk pulled that uh, feat off and how King really uh, provided us with um, really a great explanation of their power system for the SSG and why the Warlords are no longer there. But until I make that video, uh, you know, today we're going to be talking about what I think specifically happened at Rocky Port. But a detailed uh, examination of what we know so far about Rocky Port incident. Um, so first off, first and foremost, uh, the thing we know about Rocky Port um, was that it was an incident that occurred during the time skip of two years. Law got a bounty increase of 240 million. Uh, I'm assuming Blackbeard probably got his first bounty ever in the whole series or at least second bounty in the entire series from it, maybe like even a billion increase. Uh, Kobe was announced the hero, um, and we don't know where it was. We don't know if it was in Paradise or if it was in the New World. A lot of people have said it was in Paradise, um, but I'd like to show point to you Pirate Island as being a possible location for this rocky port. And now you might be saying, well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, you know, I, why would that be the case? Well, this is because the rocky port looks very, it does look a little bit like an actual rocky port. So, you know, maybe. There's also another name for it, possibly, um, with the egg head port that we get at the very, um, end of the chapter, where the marines are heading to. So I don't know if that's maybe a port in Pirate Island, so maybe rocky port is different. But until we get that clarification, for now, that's my theory on where the island is located. Anyways, um, I think what Rocky Port was supposed to represent was a modern um, telling or a modern version of what happened on, um, you know, God's Valley, the incident. They're both incidents. Now, a lot of people have said, too, there's been some speculation whether there was a battle or not. And they're saying that Kobe plead with Blackbeard, which probably is the case, but Kobe could have actually, um, you know, maybe actually fought some of his men off and actually, you know, maybe managed to make a deal with Blackbeard or at least kind of an agreement that like, hey, you could have this island, you know, that the, um, uh, Zhang, Wang Zen uh, had. I always have a very difficult name saying that pirate's name. Um, but in the, again, all speculation there too. So what I think actually happened, you know, the other thing we know is that Law was the instigator of this uh, Rocky Port incident, and honestly, his involvement now that we know uh, that Kobe, in some bizarre shape or form, actually helped Blackbeard get Pirate Island, I think the assumption has to be that Zhao Wang had to have gone out of his way to actually been at um, this rocky port in paradise which i don't think is the case considering most other members of rocks has stayed in the new world so i think this actually does kind of somewhat prove a little bit that it actually happened on pirate island and the involvement with law becomes even more and more confusing although when we got the information about what law did there's a few things that we we also know during the time skip did he get 100 hearts during that time period? And another thing that we don't know is uh, Robin claims that, you know, she has a lot of intel because of her time at the Revolutionary Army during when she met Law at Punk Hazard and Law proposed a deal with Luffy and she said pirate alliances don't always work out. So, <laughs> in a very convoluted way, I think what happened here was the... Uh, Robin actually was referring to something that Law did in the time skip and you know she wasn't trying to say it in front of him because maybe she felt a little bit threatened because she didn't feel safe 100% till of course Zoe even though she did feel some security uh, and he's lobby I don't think she really trusts Law enough to actually say that at the time um, so I think she I think what happened was that Law had a 
either a temporary alliance with Blackbeard or Zhao Wing. Things that, um, things did not go very well. Um, or the al other alternative, which I think it makes a lot more sense, is that while the Navy, act, you know, while Blackbeard and Zhao Wing were actually engaging in a battle, um, and there was just, you know, people getting knocked out because of Blackbeard's devil fruit, right? You know, he wasn't necessarily killing people yet because he was just trying to make a big statement like, Z -ha -ha, you know, he was just trying to make a big entrance, right? So he's taking guys out. And I think what happened was that Law got a hundred of those hearts from, you know, either small lackeys of Blackbeards that were knocked out or pirate, mostly probably from Zhao Wang's crew. And I think this particular moment was so it, like like law took all these hearts and i think what he said to blackbeard was you know look uh, you know what he said to zhao wing was like hey look i got all these hearts so now what are you gonna do and at that point he, if this guy was a devil fruit user and he faced blackbeard probably he met the same fate as most characters have i mean even marco who was able to handle king and queen and even able to handle a lot of the other admirals um, you know, had a very difficult time with, um, you know, against Blackbeard. So I think Blackbeard uh, s defeated him, and at that moment, you know, he was going to cause more casualties to the citizen, and then Kobe pleaded and said, look, it, you can have your island, we'll, we'll, we won't, you know, we won't invade it or anything, as you know, as of right now, um, you know, but how about you, you let all the citizens on this island live, you know, and... and and then we can actually, um, you know, make some kind of an agreement like that or something. Or he pleaded. And, you know, maybe there was a transporter snail actually, you know, broadcasting some of these events or something. We don't know what happened. And I think maybe that event was so big that, you know, Blackbeard said, okay, well, you know, because of you, I was able to maybe distract. Maybe he actually, maybe, I think Kobe probably actually, you know, pleaded with his wing a little bit you know, maybe two, and then that distracted him long enough for Blackbeard to get the kill on him. Meanwhile, Law was just getting his submarine, just picking up all these pirate bodies, and, and you know, using, you know, having their hearts, and then he, you know, became a warlord. But he instigated the whole thing probably because, you know, he engaged with Zhao Wing first, but then, you know, kind of pulled back, you know, when Blackbeard tried to get there for a strategic place, considering that Rocks was formed there and the DV backfight was formed there, so there's some history there that maybe we're not... Um, you know, privy to yet. Uh, the last point I think is really interesting about this pirate island and this rocky port incident is specifically uh, why Kid is talking about a guy with a burn scar, right? Um, and I think it would make a lot of sense for Blackbeard as a Yonko to have his, you know, what it, what, do, what are the qualifications for a Yonko? You have to have one, a territory. Two, you have to have done a huge feat that is recognized by the world. And three, uh, you know, you have to, to some degree, I think you have to have at least a pony glove for an idea of them. So my theory is that is this: Law engaged with Zhao Wing first originally, uh, then was interrupted by Blackbeard because of a strategic thing. They worked on a, a temporary alliance. Law got the hearts. He got to be the warlord. Meanwhile, Blackbeard got to defeat Zhao Wing in front of the Marines, and all that got back to headquarters. He became a Yonko. Uh, Kobe pleaded with Blackbeard that sit, the civilians were saved, low casualties in this conflict. Therefore, Kobe's the hero. He got promoted to captain. So a character went from a, got to be a captain, a warlord, and a Yonko out of it. I think everything ended up being beneficial, even though no one really wanted it that way, um, particularly. Uh, Zhao Wang probably met his death considering Blackbeard in this chapter was willing to just straight up ice um, Boa Hancock. Um, and yeah, I, I think, and we, we know in this chapter now that Blackbeard had armament hockey, and he was able to actually, with his devil fruit, the Yami Yami no Mi, he was able to tank a hit from these fake Lunarians. So we do know that Blackbeard is somebody to trifle with when it comes to actually being a stalemate but he is not somebody who does well with high conquerors hockey which is maybe why he needed law's help in order to defeat Zhao Wang or something along those lines and then 
you know, Law dipped and then kind of screwed Blackbeard over in a way because he thought Law was going to be a part of his crew and then he wasn't. So, you know, because we don't know these interactions. And the last thing I'd like to say, like I said before, is that Kid was, you know, if you look at the map and what Sawyer Seven Mage said, is most likely Kid is heading to Beehive Island, Pirate Island. And he was talking about a guy with a burn scar. Law did not know who he was, but he also, Law didn't say one, one way or another whether he knew this burn scar guy. I don't think it makes sense for it to be Sabo. Zhao Wing's name just being dropped like this does not make a lot of sense. So I think Kid is going to Pirate Island thinking that Zhao Wing is actually still there. But little does he know, Blackbeard is actually the, you know, the ruler of Pirate Island right now. And I think some shenanigans are going to get involved and kids going to find out real quick and specifically i think blackbeard not only picked this location for why he wanted to establish his base you know for rocks but i think there's the final poneglyph is actually here instead of elbath um i think maybe it's possible that there's some something of more importance for grand uh, importance and uh yeah so that's my theory on the truth of what happened at the rocky port incident um you know hit this like if you liked any of the theory, you know, just please have some discussion in the comments below. Um, and subscribe if you can. Uh, hopefully I'll be making a video about these new SSG and the significance behind this with Boa's connections and King's connections. And yeah, so I hope everyone has a great day and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.